Hi, a very good evening to you. A very good evening to you. Welcome to it. This is Daily Insight brought to you every single day by myself, Mumpuliki Makwana. I am the author and the leadership coach, the author of the three books, The Birth of Greatness, Embrace Your Greatness, and What Amazing Employees Do. This evening, we are talking about one topic that is very close to my heart. And if you are joining us for the first time, I would like to know where are you watching from? I see Horata Hawane are connecting from Habroni. Good evening, coach. Thank you so much for joining us, Horata Hawane. I am very happy uh, to see you on board. And today, uh, uh, we chose to do this this evening because we didn't manage to do it in the morning. So we'll keep alternating and see what works best. But every single day, we need to have something that we listen to. We need to have something that we can feed from. And today I am talking about investing in yourself, investing in yourself. It is very, very, very crucial every single day to know that you have to work on yourself. You have to develop yourself. Every single day is an opportunity for you to do better. Every single day is an opportunity for you to get better and to improve. And therefore, whatever chance we have, Whatever day we have, we need to be working on ourselves and developing ourselves. Just with one word, I would like to know how was your day today. Just with one word on the comment box below, I would like to know how was your day today. Just share with me how your day was. On the comment box below, just share with me how your day was. Normally I say, share with me where you are watching from. But today I'm saying, how was your day? How was your day? I would like to know from you. How was your day today? Today, we are talking about investing in yourself, investing in yourself. Without you, nothing matters. Without your existence, nothing really makes sense. Without you being where you are today, without your existence today, everything else around you does not matter. And therefore, every single day, you need to know you are the chief commander in your life and your presence really means a lot. Your presence really plays a massive, great role. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. We normally do this every single morning at 8 a.m. We will get back to our time. We will get back to our time today. We wanted to see how can it be if we alternate and check doing it in the evening. Here's one very, very important element why I'm talking about investing in yourself today. Here's why I'm talking about investing in yourself, because there's something that I want to share with you, something that I've drafted for you. If you look at this picture, you know, at the bottom here is you. If you look at this, what, what I've drawn here, at the bottom here, it's you. At the top, it's your career, your family, and you can add it. The list is unexhaustible. You are at the bottom and everything else that you see today, they matter because of your presence. We can talk about family. We can talk about family. We can talk about relationships, businesses and organizations. But at the bottom, it is you. So our first statement for the evening is everything depends on you and you, you depend on you. Everything depends on you and you depend on you. So every single day, you have to make a decision that you are going to get better, that you are going to invest in yourself. We, we, we have seen many people today who have lost their lives. We know many people today who are not able to keep up with the pressure and now they are droning into depression. They are droning into, you know, into anxiety because they are trying to be everything to everyone. They are trying to be everything to everyone. They are not being everything to themselves. Every single day, every single person may be depending on you. Your family counts on you. Your friends count on you. Your business where you work, they count on you. And you count on yourself. And therefore, the commitment to invest in yourself, it's a must. Every single day, you need to be making a decision you know, to commit uh, to your growth. I'm going to be plugging in your comments on the screen here. Uh, Horata Haone are connecting from Haboroni. Good evening. Uh, she also went to say, interesting. I was asking how your day is with one word, how your day is. And then Mr. Joshua Pata, the financial guru himself, uh, Mr. Joshua Pata, are Tulamasisi, my brother. He's tuning in from Tulamasisi. Thank you so much, Mr. Joshua, for sharing your comment there. So every single day, we are on daily insight. insights that makes your day. So today I have only four key insights that we are going to talk about when we talked about, you know, investing 
in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, it's very hard for you to start investing on other people. It's very hard for you to invest in your relationship. It's close to impossible for you to invest in your career and to give your best. So the day you start investing in yourself, you are creating a balance of things because this is you at the bottom and everything else at the top here depends on you. This is you at the bottom. Your existence means these things do matter. Your career do matter. Your relationship do matter. Your business do matter. The family do matter because of your existence. And then the first statement I say, everything depends on you and you depend on you. Here's our second statement. It says, everything improves when you improve. Everything improves when you improve. Everything improves when you improve. But there are so many things we wish could get better. There are so many things we wish could improve. There are so many things we wish could get better in our lives, but they will never ever get better until we get better. Everything else is waiting for us to raise our personal standards. I know some weeks, a week ago, we talked about raising your standard on, I think it's episode 20. We talked about raising your standard, that everything else around you begin to improve when you improve yourself. When you make a conscious, deliberate decision that I am going to get better on how I, uh, you know, how I understand things, how I monitor things, how I implement things. When you make a conscious, deliberate decision that as an individual, I am going to improve, I am going to cultivate the right mindset, I am going to cultivate the right attitude, everything else around you begin to improve. Today, I have just four key points on how do we invest in ourselves, four key points on how do we invest in ourselves. Point number one is, I see Horata for Famoshe Are Haboroni Block Seven. Thank you so much, Horata, for for that comment. Haboroni Block Seven. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and already, it's America Horror sent a comment. Are investing on yourself is the best investment ever. Personal growth and personal development is a must. Have. Thank you so much. I'll be sharing your comments on the screen as you comment. So share whatever you want to share, where are you watching from? How was your day in one way? How was your day today? So today we are talking about investing in yourself. I know you have been making time for people. You have been giving your all for other people. You have been going up, waking up early to invest in someone else's dream. But today I'm talking about you making a conscious, deliberate decision that you want to improve yourself. You making a conscious, deliberate decision that you want to get better as an individual. I see Okorata Kaone, everything improves. If I improve, because it all, all depends on me, everything I have always wanted, I can get if I improve myself. You see, so everything else in our life starts to get better when we get better as individuals. Everything else around us starts to improve when we improve ourselves. So point number one in investing yourself is create a sense of agency to develop yourself. Create a sense of agency to develop yourself. Create a sense of agency to develop yourself. Many people today, they still think they have time. There's a gentleman who shared one preaching at one church. I forgot they are his full names. He said, your problem is that you think you have time. Your problem is that you think you have time. Many people today are still standing because they think they still have time to, you know, to invest in themselves. They think they still have time to develop themselves. They think they still have time time to improve themselves and then sooner or later without even noticing it they lose the things they they always had sooner or later the job where they are working they are no longer required sooner or later the business they have started is no longer relevant in the market why because they thought they still have time they are servicing the market they have the market share they had they have done all the market research they are doing the job and they have been doing this job for some years now they are comfortable they have been doing what they are doing for some years and now they are leveraging on what they did before. Many people today, if you ask them, some of them, they are still celebrating what they did last month. You know, one mentor, I uh, was listening to Eric Thomas uh, during the day today. He said, if you want to find if someone is broke, you will see 
them celebrating what they did a month ago. That what you did a month ago cannot accumulate your results today. What you did a month ago is no longer relevant when you talk about your growth. And therefore, every single day investing in yourself is understanding that you need to create a sense of agency every single day to work on yourself, to work on your attitude, to work on how you see things, to work on how you appreciate your own life. It's a personal commitment you need to make every single day create a sense of agency to do things better. I still remember, I can share with you a story. I still remember back in Finland, you know, especially in the older generation, when you walk around the street, these are self-reserved people. They don't just talk to anyone anyhow. They are self-reserved. And to, for you to open up a conversation, you need to be speaking their language. For you to open a conversation, you need to be speaking that language. However, I need to know the language in order for me to open up. And therefore, I, every day I, I created the attitude to learn and to get better so that I can be able to do well in that environment. So I created a sense of agency in investing in learning in another new language so that I can be able to do well in that field. So you never know what is going to happen tomorrow. The things you have today will not always be there for you. The people you have who you have access to, you may not have access to them tomorrow. The people who have been helping you throughout building your dream may not be there tomorrow. And therefore, you need to make a decision that you are going to improve yourself every single day and create a sense of agency to learn. And some of you, I know, you know, if you don't see daily insight in the morning, uh, you have not made your day. You know, you, you want to go to work after you get some motivation. And I'm telling you, the people you get motivation from, one day they will not be there. So, and therefore you need to move to the other side of the table, like I always say, from just reading their books to writing your own books. You need to move from being inspired to start to be inspiring. You need to move from just always coming to check for videos to you starting to create videos. You know what you want to do. You know your dream. You know what you are capable of. You know your potential. And therefore, you need to make a decision to move away from consuming to being a producer, to move away from just reading to writing, to move away from just listening to you being the one in the podcast. I know Rata Hawane is doing some videos. I think it's a daily or a weekly videos that she shares content. She gets inspired to inspire. Create that sense of agency in your life to develop yourself, to learn new skills, to appreciate and cultivate the new mindset because things keep on changing. Yesterday's home run cannot win today's game. The things that used to work yesterday, they no longer work today. The things that used to work some years ago, they are no longer working today. And therefore, you need to make a decision that every single new day, when you say happy new day, it means you have to upgrade your standards. You need to raise your standard on the books you are going to read, the associations you are going to build. To, to, today, this morning, instead of the daily insight at 8 a.m., I posted a, you know, a, 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 a long, kind of short you, you know, post. I said, introduce yourself to someone new today. I said, introduce yourself to someone new today. I said, today's environment is running on networks. Who do you know who can introduce you to someone you need? So you need every single day to create a sense of urgency, to learn, to apply yourself, to create new networks, and to build relationships that can help you to thrive in your journey. You are a network away from your dream. You are an, a, you know, a, prom a, a, you know, a promotion away you know, because of the network you have not cultivated right now. So you need to create a sense of agency and know that if you want to thrive, if you want to do better, if you want to improve, you owe it to yourself to start investing in yourself. That is point number one on investing in yourself. I said, create a sense of agency. Most of you, you know where you need to improve. 
You know how you, you need to cultivate yourself, but you still think that you have time. Things happen so quickly. You need to learn how to use this braille. You need to learn how to use sign language. Tomorrow there's an accident, there can be an accident or anything that causes you to adapt to a new lifestyle. And while you still can, you need to learn all these new things so that when you face anything that is life transisting, you are not taking five years to adapt. You don't feel hopeless. You don't feel like you cannot survive anymore without that relationship because on your own, you have not cultivated interpersonal skills. The boyfriend, the husband, or the wife is the only person who knows about people. You have not cultivated interpersonal skills. You are relying on a friend. You are relying on your boss to go and make a call for you to have that meeting. You need to learn that because things are not going to remain the same way they are tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new day and it's going to raise its own standard. And life is always raising its own standard. And therefore you, my friend, need to make a personal commitment that you are going to improve every single day because that's what life is about. Life is about improvement. Life is about growth. Life is about getting better. Life is about continuous evolving. And therefore, the day you stop learning, the day you start cultivating the right mindset, the day you stop improving your product, the day you stop improving your communication skills, is the day you start being irrelevant because what worked yesterday is no longer relevant today. We live in an ever-changing economy when it comes to job markets, when it comes to businesses, when it comes to organizations. And therefore, people who are able to survive and thrive and being relevant are those who are continuously changing and improving and engaging their mind to do better and better every single day. There is no time than the now. There is no better time than today to understand that you can improve yourself. And as you improve yourself, everything else around you will improve. As you improve your attitude, everything else around you begins to improve. You have seen the picture that said we do before we started this conversation that you are at the bottom and everything at the top depends on you. Everything, your career, your relationships, your business and your family, your family here, they all improve when you improve. They all get better when you raise your standard. Your relationship get that sparks when you make a personal decision that I want to improve on how I do things. I want to improve on how, how I have been doing things. I see Mr. Riflino, Are tomorrow is going to raise a new standard. Exactly, every single day is raising its own standard. And people who, who are falling off the race are not those who are bewitched, are not those who people don't like. It's not like people are bitter to them. It's the fact that time has passed and their relevance has been left in the past. And therefore, investing in yourself is not a one-time commitment. It's an all-day commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. Growth is not a one-day thing. You cannot hack progress. You cannot hack personal development. You cannot hack improvement. Yes, you can get the results that you are hacked, but they will not last long because originality is you are the original piece. And therefore, everything else depends on your ability to change and improve yourself. That is our point number one. Create a sense of agency in improving yourself. Our point number two is cultivate the attitude that it is possible to reinvent yourself. Cultivate the attitude that says it's possible that I can reinvent myself. It's possible that I can do things better than I did them before. You are not stuck in we do things this way. You are not stuck in same systems. You are not stuck in the same old ways of doing things. You cultivate the attitude that says it's possible I can reinvent myself. It's possible I can do better than yesterday. It's possible I can change the way I do things. It's possible I can improve my processes and systems that as things change, I can make a decision to evolve and change as well. That is what we owe to ourselves. 
to believe that we can figure things out as everything else evolves. Inventing in yourself or, or investing in yourself, it takes you to have that attitude, to cultivate that mindset that it's possible I can shift from the way I did things yesterday to improving them today. Because so many people are still stuck in the feelings and emotion of yesterday. They're still stuck on the process they used yesterday. People have moved on. Clients are no longer coming. People are no longer calling you for your services because you are stuck in the past. You used to buy me flowers. You used to call me every evening. You used to buy me roses. But nowadays, you don't, you don't do that. They are stuck in the you used in the past. People who are growing and who are thriving today, they are willing to change how they do things. And therefore, today, when people say you have changed, it's no longer an insult. We are living in a changing environment. We are living in a changing economy. So you have changed is actually a compliment because people who are not changing, they are getting passed by time. Systems are no longer relevant. Their, their conversation is no longer relevant and therefore they get replaced. It's what the, 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 the great Charles Darwin talks about when he talked about the principle, the theory of evolution, that species which are not able to adapt to new ways of survival, they face extinction, that those which are able to change their characteristics, their feeding mode, their communication mode, their posture mode, they are able to thrive and live on. That is why we don't have the dinosaurs today. That is why we don't have certain species which are said to be uh, extinctive species because they are not able to adapt. And therefore the question to you today is that in your marketplace, in your businesses, in your organizations, are you investing in yourself so that you keep on evolving, so that you have the mindset that, oh, yes, th yes, things are no longer like yesterday. You know, there are people today whose businesses are not doing well today. Organizations are not doing well. Their relationships are not doing well, but they still have the same to say the same thing. Over five years, things are not the same anymore. Things are not the same anymore. Things are not like in 2010. It's no longer like in 2011. It's no longer like in 2000. It is no longer like that. And the only thing you can change is yourself. You can make a decision that as things evolve, I make a personal commitment to evolve as well. You can make a personal decision that as things get better, I can get better as well. And that, that, that shift in mindset, it is making people who are getting jobs today and those who are not. People who are, who are saying there are so many opportunities while other people say there are no opportunities. The difference is in the mindset of the ability to figure things out, of believing and cultivating the attitude that says it's possible I can reinvent myself. Point number two in investing, yourself, investing in yourself is that you need to cultivate the attitude that it's possible to reinvent myself. That when things improve and change, I can change myself. I'm not going to sit down and cry foul, but I am going to make a decision that I am going to improve over time. That is what we need to do in order to shift and to get better. And point number three, operate from what this, this was shared by Les Brown, and I was listening to Les Brown during the day. He said, uh, operate from your imagination and not your memory. Operate from your imagination and not your memory. That many people today, all they can talk about is the good old days. I think I talked about this during the lockdown, about the good old days. That now they are stuck in the good old days and they are not able to create new experiences in their businesses, in their organizations, in their relationships and where they work. So they are stuck from the old memory of what they did a year ago. They're still celebrating what they did two years ago. They're still celebrating what they did four months ago, three weeks ago, a week ago. And therefore, they are not evolving because they're still caught in the red race of, I am good at this, while they have not done anything today. What I normally say to my, you know, to my teams, uh, my clients, at the Career Corner, I run a program called Career Corner, which focuses on improving people in the workplaces and their business and organizations. I said, 
the thing that people can remind me, remember you for is what you did today. The things we can only remind you for, the things that we can qualify you for is what you did today. And therefore, if today has not been the best, you have not been the best. You may consider yourself to have done something some years ago, but what you did today is what qualifies you for tomorrow. And therefore, if you are not doing anything tomorrow, today, you are not qualified to have won today. So operate from your imagination on what's possible, what can come your way, what you can improve, what you can manifest, what you can invent. Operate from your imaginations. Imaginations is the mother of all inventions. Imagination is the mother of all creations. We get what we get by evolving and choosing to invest in ourselves. And we can invest in ourselves by doing what? By operating from our imagination. What do you imagine for your future? What do you imagine for your life this coming week after the holidays? What do you imagine for your finances at the end of this month? What do you imagine for your relationship towards the end of this year? Those are intentional questions you need to ask yourself when you invest in yourself. So mostly you need to be investing on your imagination, on what's to come, not what's in the past. Because many people are stuck in the past and therefore they are not able to give their best today because they are still stuck on what happened before. And therefore to invest in yourself, you need to make a shift from your past to what's possible in the future and then start operating from that sense of agency that this is what I want to manifest in my life. This is what I want to see on my finances. This is what I want to see on my relationship. That is the commitment you need to make when you invest on yourself. Our last point for this evening is, let me read uh, a comment from already. Everything starts, uh, everything starts from the mind before it manifests in the physical and that is a very powerful powerful statement that things are created twice first in our mind then in reality that this pen was someone's thought before this calculator was someone's thought before this mouse was someone's in someone's thoughts before and they manifest because they engage on the imaginary on how life is going to evolve. So as you invest on yourself, don't just be stuck on what happened, but on what's possible, what can evolve in your life. Our last point for, for this evening is put in the work, even when you do not feel like it. Put in the work, even when you don't feel like it. What works is what you do. You don't talk yourself into progress. You don't wish yourself into progress. You behave yourself into progress, and that's what causes the manifestation of everything in your life. You need to make a conscious, deliberate decision that I am going to do what I have to do. You have to do what you said you are going to do. Remember our famous quote from my first book, The Birth of Greatness. I said, there is no competition out there because many people never do the things they said they are going to do. So you need to invest in yourself by doing the things you said you are going to do. People are waiting for the manifestation of your greatness. And that can only happen when you take action. People can only show up for you to help you. They can come to, to, to be there for you, to support you while they see you in action, while they see you taking steps and everything else start to manifest in your life. When you don't just only hope for things to happen, when you just only wish for things to happen, but when you take action, because as you take action, you activate your faith. As you activate your faith, you activate your courage and you start taking more and more and more and more of action. So our point number four and our last point is put in the work. Doing is what works. Doing is what works. When you take action, you can refine, you can take feedback, you can get the knowledge from what did work, what worked and what did not work. And therefore you can take it from there next time and you keep building one layer after the other. Remember our, our famous uh, phrase, small steps, great distances, small steps, great distances. We take small steps every single day. 
to great destinies. We may not be where we want to be today, but the steps we take today is a set up for a comeback. The steps we take today is a set up to our greatness. We are not going to wait until we have perfect conditions. We are not going to wait until we have all the money. We are not going to wait until we are rich or well known. No, we are doing it today so that tomorrow we can have a back in the past to talk about that. This is where I started. This is my traceable record. That is the commitment you need to do when you invest in yourself. You don't have to wait for perfect conditions. You don't have to be great to start, but you need to start, my friend, in order to be great. Small steps, great distances. Perfections comes over stumbling. Perfections comes from imperfect steps. Every single day, let us make a commitment that I am going to do my part. I am going to invest my time. That's all I had for you for today. I would just like to read your comments before I log out. I see uh, I choose to evolve as things evolve. And then tomorrow is going to raise a new standard. Wow. After missing previous insight, good evening, say I'm back connecting from Safari. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, say uh, Kemal are good evening my coach as I accumulate a sense of urgency to do things better uh, already say about uh, every uh, every single day has its own campaign you have to be doing your best every single day uh, and then I see everything improves if I improve because it all depends on me everything I have always wanted I can get it if I improve myself and then already say, uh, this ones I have read them. So thank you so much, uh, guys, for tuning in this evening. Tuning in again tomorrow. I see uh, Deco are uh, a um, powerful message indeed. Take action. Action is what matters. Actions breeds courage. Small steps, great distances. Every single day, we need to be taking steps that sets us to the next phase. We may not be the most favorite today. We may not be the most celebrated today, but if we don't start today, we will never see the light of our dreams. We may not be having all the support, but if we don't start, we will never have the support. Taking action is what matters. Doing is what works. Working is what works. Wishing, hoping, and planning is not enough. Until we do, then things can change. Then Lillian, why it's are I go to? I know I can. Thank you so much, Lillian, for tuning in. I appreciate your time for tuning in. I go to, I know I can. And then, uh, thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in this evening. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Make sure you share this with your audience so that they can get to do things better and invest in themselves. This is Daily Insight with Mumpuliki Makwana. is available what amazing employees do make sure you place your copy make sure you place your copy thank you so much enjoy the rest of your evening see you again tomorrow 8 a.m daily insight with mumbuluki magwana